everyone, John here, and welcome back to another list video. So, Lily, I've been going back and watching through a lot of episodes of the Amanda Show, a lot of different skits and stuff. So I thought, hey, let's do a list of the top five best skits from the Amanda Show, in my opinion, of course. All right, let's take a look, shall we? At number five, we got Moody's Point, episode five. Yeah, this one uh, was interesting because I wasn't sure if I wanted to include any of the episodes of Moody's Point. You know, the segment that did a sort of parody of teen dramas, but hey, why not, right? Now, Moody's Point was definitely a good little, you know, segment series on The Amanda Show. It was, uh, like I said, a parody of teen dramas. Now, in the fifth episode here, we get this weird plot about Moody's friend Spalding accidentally cutting off Moody's father's toe with a big old boat anchor. Yeah, the plot here uh, is very funny. Spalding is definitely the star of this episode, giving us a lot of really funny moments, just desperately trying to retrieve that toe. We also get one really great funny moment from Moody's uh, boyfriend, if you want to call him that, Sternum. It's a really funny episode. I would recommend checking it out and all the episodes of the show if you can. At number four, we have Meatloaf Crunch. Yeah, Meatloaf Crunch was definitely the most entertaining out of all the show's fake commercials. The premise here is that it's cereal made of meatloaf, and that idea is just, you know, funny for how silly it is. We get John Cassier, one of the series regulars, playing the cereal's mascot, Loaf, and he's good, as are Drake Bell, Amanda Bynes, Nancy Sullivan, and the guy who plays the dad, all giving really funny, intentionally hammy performances. Uh, I also really like um, Loaf's catchphrase, whoop dee dee have a bowl of me, and hey, you gotta love that really catchy jingle they have. It's good stuff. My number three choice, I'm going with Melody and Thad Sing at a Wedding. Melody and Thad was a series of skits about a two-person band who go to events and sing inappropriate songs. This one has a lot to offer. The first song they perform is called You Marry an Ugly Guy. The lyrics are just hilarious and it's a real earworm. Uh, the other, we also get two other pretty good songs here, uh, but another thing I really like about this skit is Drake Bell's monotone performance as Thad. It's just really funny. My number two choice, I'm going with Block Blister, Stuart Lipple, and F-Men. This series of skits is about a video rental store who rents out bad knockoffs of real movies. In each skit, a disgruntled customer returns to the store to complain about the fake movies that they got. In this particular one, we get two customers. The first is a kid whose reaction to the fake movie is pretty funny, but the second customer they get is absolutely amazing. He's played by an actor named Jeremy Rowley, who you guys would know as Lupert from iCarly, and he is just hilarious. His over-the-top reaction to the fake movie that he got is absolutely hysterical. Please check this one out, it's so good. And for my number one choice, I'm going with Prank Call Escalates Quickly. Remember the Mr. Oldman prank call skits? Yeah, this one is pretty short, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, Dan Schneider, the series creator, plays Mr. Oldman here, and he is the highlight of this skit. Um, his delivery is great, and he gets a lot of really great, hilarious lines. My favorite probably being when he describes his socks as being a lovely blue. Yeah, he does some good acting here, and I actually wouldn't mind seeing him do some more acting on some of his shows in the future. He's, he's good. He's funny. Definitely makes the skits. So yeah, definitely the best skit of the series, and definitely the best skit of the entire Amanda show, in my opinion. So yeah, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching, everyone, and get ready for some Christmas reviews coming at you soon.